Sup guys, Red back at it again here with another unboxing video. As you can see, it's from CNC. I've been expecting this one for quite a while. Well, not really a while because they're great about that. CNC, one of the best places you can go to get your reenacting gear. They've never let me down. Hell, they've gotten something to me that I really needed oh, virtually next day. Amazing people. Highly recommend. Go check them out. CNCCelery.com. Just go through their stuff. They're amazing people. They're really nice. But, you know, you didn't click this video to see me, to hear me ramble about CNC. Or did you? I'm on to you. No, you came in for an unboxing. And with all this tape, we're going to need a knife. So, let's get her open, huh? All right. Wait, is there anything on the outside? Huh? There is something on the outside first. Let's see what that is. Ah, okay. Let's see here. I think this is in case of uh, returns or such. Okay, yeah, this is everything, uh, everything I ordered. Nice, nice, nice. And it is a fairly long box as well. That may be a, bit of, be a bit of a spoiler. I'm not telling any more. I'm going to let the video do it for itself. And it does say fragile. Also, butterfly knives. Awesome. All right. Damn, they put a lot of tape on this thing, you know? All right. Nope, there's some more down here on the side. Don't worry, guys. Red's still here. He's just coming over here to do the unboxing. So how's everybody's day going, huh? How about that coronavirus, huh? There, shit's crazy. People buying all the toilet paper. Bam. Yeah, okay. Now, she will open. By the way, if anybody wants to know how to open and close a butterfly knife, you just flip, twirl, flip, bring it close. Also, now I do a few more tricks with those. I, 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 I'm playing with knives is a bad habit, kids. Don't do it, okay? Did I forget to cut something over here? Now, there we go. Okay, yes. Oh, there we are. All right. Um, where are we going to go first with this? Anything in here, or is this just filler? Nope, this is just filler. All right. Important shit. First things first here. Let's not go with that first. I see the main attraction here. Let's go with some under drawers. Yeah, underwears. Those of you who did not know, in the 1860s, they did wear sort of uh, what you could call long johns. They weren't double woven wool long johns either. They were virtually canvas. And they looked fuck out of here. They looked like that. Okay, CNC, I gotta order me another pair. I outgrew mine. Very nice. These are actually for a friend of mine. I told him I'd get him some. Very nice for CNC. Even down here in the end, they got a lovely little drawstring to tie around your ankles to help you on those cold, cold nights. Now for you reenactors out there, I highly recommend getting a pair of under drawers. Because they keep the promise that the wool made. You know, be warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Those will keep you warm in the winter, cool in the summer. My pair did that. First reenactment I wore them to is like 105, 105 heat index with a humidity of 50%. Pretty warm out. Oh, box is uh, heavy on one end. I want... Let's just do it like this now. Yeah, there we go. You know what, here's what I'll do. I'll just take out the other thing, and I will discard the box. I will make it easier for you. Belt. I got a new sword belt, because as most of you know, I am now an officer. I will be promoted to captain soon. This is for my officer impression. It is wrapped with a period correct rubber band. Actually, that's a funny joke, but at the same time... In the 1860s, rubber was available. It was only mainly used by the really rich. It was a very uh, modest econ uh, uh, a comedy. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. You guys are smart. 
to have rubber at the time. It was very useful in many ways, and I honestly wish... Huh? What is this now? Oh, okay. That's what that is. Okay, that's why those are there. That's why that's there. Okay. Yes, got a new sword belt. Now, I will not be using the shoulder strap for mine because I will probably, if I'm carrying a sidearm, I will only be carrying a Colt. Yes. So, nothing too heavy. Officer's brass buckle, full brass. Very nice stitching work. I'm also just, I found one shoulder strap that works for me. All the other ones I've ever tried don't. That's a, that's a personal preference for you guys. Don't think it has anything to do with how your sword hangs, because it won't. It'll it basically helps take the weight off of your off your belt. So not only is your belt holding up a sword or saber, however, you're, it's also holding up a pistol if you have a sidearm. I might not even carry one. I'm gonna make it to where I can remove it very easy. It depends on what event I'm doing. I gotta get this stamped. I might just go ahead and do that. Might. Pause, I might I might cut to it when I've got it done. It's a very nice sword belt. CNC, once again, you have outdone yourselves. Congratulations. I know they check out my videos. I love them very, very much. They are great people. Wonderful, wonderful, strong leather. Yes. That's the kind of belt that you could just take off and throp down on a hot day. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. Red? A sudden another box? I thought you got rid of it. Well, surprise, bitches. I didn't. Yeah. Let me see here. How am I going to open this big old beast? Got a flippy. Oh, yeah. Another thing to remember about butterfly. See, you don't want to grab this handle. It's called the bite handle because it'll bite you. Safe handle. Acknowledge that first. I've seen, you, some people go by a little latch here. I've seen latches go on both handles. So, let's do this. Just a little slice here. And I know what this is, but you guys don't. So, actually, you know what? Right now in the comments, judging by everything you've seen here already, give me your answer. What do you think this is? Right now in the comments, I'm going to wait five seconds. Should be enough time. Alright. Let's do it like we're doing a bank heist. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, man. That was a close one. I think we almost triggered the alarm on that last one there. Sometimes you just got to hit your... Oh, guys, 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 guys. Red's going to disappear for a second because it's hot. Damn. This box is tight. Ugh. Oh, CNC, you wonderful, beautiful people. I'm going to hide it for a second. So I can... Okay. Box, you can go over there now. Wow, that is a very, very tough box. Another hint, another hint. You guys can still be guessing. I don't know. You guys could be cheaters out there, too. Oh, my gosh. She's... Oh, you can still feel the oil on her. Well, it's a big reveal. Let me get everything else out. We are approaching 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You guys waited 10 minutes to see this magnificent piece of work. <laughs> oh, look at her. Got the U.S. engraved. Okay. Here's the... Oh, man. Nice and oiled, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Those of you who don't know, I am a fan of all kinds of blades. I have not met one yet. I do not like. And this right here, got the wire, got the brass wire wrapping around the handle. Got the leather handle right there. See, it's, it's a nice, solid piece of work. Oh my gosh. When I emailed them and asked if they had any of these available, which, can you guess what kind of sword this is? Think about it. I'm on the staff. I'm an officer, so, you know, edit your comment down below. Tell me what kind of sword this is.
Wait another five seconds, and I'll get back to my story. For CNC, this is a model 1850 Staff and Field Officer Sword. And holy shit, guys, this is CNC's outdone outdone themselves again. Like I honestly don't know what I was expecting. I whatever my ex ex expectations were, CNC completely blew them out of the water. Guys, go check them out. Damn, they are incredible. You know what? Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go punch the belt. I'm going to get all this on, baby. Let's do this. Well, folks, there she is. <laughs> what do you think, y'all? I don't think it looks that bad. I got one hole punch here. I used by Pure Correct Standards. Got myself a man. Got my own manual hole punch. Pounded in there with a hammer. It was tough. I did use an X-Acto knife to help mark where it was. Highly recommend you guys do the same at home. I got all the oil off of the blade, and I'll give you a closer look at the blade here. I don't want to get fingerprints on it. And the other side. Even the handle as the pommel or handguard handle. There's the pommel, guys. Once again, flawlessly executed by CNC. Even the blued steel, the blued steel sheet, which I have always been a fan of. The blue steel looks incredible on any circumstances. I may do some adjustments to this later. Uh, let's see how she looks without the uh, shoulder strap. Give you, uh, you guys, give me your opinions in the comments. I'll make the belt a little bit tighter for that recommend it for that option, which will be easy. She has another hole. I'll uh, maybe do it a couple, a couple inches away while I have the stuff here, just to be on the safe side. You know, what? I think all together, strapless looks best. I think. Well, no feather, of course. Let's get. I wish I could wear this at events. I mean, it's all mostly period correct except for the fish hook eyelets. But, once again, you guys know what time of the video it is. There are a few channels I want to shout out General Cody HD, Calibrated Core, Brandon FC, and uh, let's see, Di Civil War Digital Digest. Cannot forget those guys. They are a well of information. For now, since I don't have a setup for no strap, I will put the strap on. But once again, once again, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know my eyes are closed. That's because I'm trying to focus. Not the best. Oh, look at that. Yeah, as you're zoomed up on my fat chin. There we go. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Calibrated Course, uh, General Cody HD, Brand Neff, Civil War Digital Digest, Company of the Second United States Sharpshooters. want to give a big shout-out to those guys because they are also another wealth of information. I am nasty. I just got off work. We had a pretty easy day, but still, it was hot in the back room, which kind of looks appropriate. The greasy hair and everything makes it look more period correct, except for all the, the talking fish is one thing that is not PC. Neither is this garage, but you know what? You guys knew that. Anywho's, once again, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and go check out CNC. They are an amazing company. Their products are top of the line, even their value line, which is good for first reenactors, even seasoned veteran reenactors like myself. This is their value line, junior officer's coat. You couldn't tell the difference. I couldn't tell the difference. Value line cappy with, uh, with of course, my Aaron's harp. Once again, guys, this is Red, signing off once more. Leave Actually, you know what? For any reenactors out there, leave your favorite event moments in the comments below. Let's do that. I want to read them. I want to get to know you guys better. Leave any questions you have, any way I did this, any questions at all, let me know. Guys, this is Red, signing out.